What is up guys, we are back here for another round of Pokemon Let's Play Emerald with the Scrub team guys. We just made it back to Fall Arbor Town. Guys, we are going to head west here and head towards Meteor Falls. Um, before we do that though, we're going to go speak to one of the uh, uh, professors here. He, he's a, I think it's Professor Cosmo. His wife is in this house and she's going to be worried about him. Yep, so he went off to Meteor Falls just off Route 114. Uh, with some people from Team Magma, guys. I made a mistake last time. It's actually Team Magma, not Team Aqua. Let's see what we can buy here real quick. All right. Uh, uh, let's just get four more of these. You never know when you're going to need them. Escape ropes. Right, we already got three. Ah, you know what? Let's just uh, Let's just head over, guys. All right, so goals for this video, guys. Let's just open up the Pokemon I have here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna head over all the way over to Meteor Falls. Check what's going on there, and we should be able to head back down to Rustboro, um, and eventually head back to Verdon Turf Town, and then Maville City, guys, to ultimately get ourselves in position to head back up to Lava Ridge Town through Mount Chimney, guys. There is gonna be a lot we need to do. Um, in the next coming uh, episodes just to make our way to Lava Ridge Town to get that coveted fourth gym badge and be halfway there, guys. We are on great pace, guys. We are working hard. We are getting these scrubs rolling, guys. We're actually becoming a pretty solid squad as we move on here through the Hoenn region as a Meryl comes out from Pitnicker Nancy. Not Nancy Pelosi, guys. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, in these times of COVID-19, you gotta have a little laugh somewhere. Um, crazy government, everybody's a knucklehead. Um, Merrill's using rollout. We're gonna hit it with the tackle here, just so we don't miss. And wow, a critical hit there by Skitty. Skitty's gonna level up to 26. Minon is gonna continue to get XP. Guys, really looking solid. The good news is there is a Moonstone. Um, as we're going to switch into Dust Tox here to use Gust on the Slumberry. There is a Moonstone in... Um, uh, man, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. Meteor Falls. I just said it probably about a minute and a half ago. Yeah, Meteor Falls. There's a Moonstone in there. Um, I think I talked about this last episode. We're not... Right away, we are not going to um, use it on our Skitty to get Delcaddy. Uh, the reason being, Skitty only learns Double Edge at 39, Delcaddy does not. And that has to do with it, the fact that it is a stone evolution. This is a, a pretty normal occurrence. I think I talked about this earlier in the Let's Play. When Nido Rhine O or Nido Rhine A becomes Nido King or Nido Queen, respectively, they don't actually start learning the moves that they um, would have learned as the other evolution here, as we're not going to learn Charm. Um, so it, there's kind of that like unique kind of trade-off when you use the stone evolutions and we definitely want to get double edge even though it takes recoil damage um, it does a ton of damage um, so it, it's really it's really important to get that move especially because normal typing it has stab as well it, it's just gonna be a huge move to know throughout the rest of the playthrough um, we're gonna skip a couple of these trainers here only just to save time guys this might be a little bit longer of an episode well, not, not not as long as the last one, but I don't want a repeat of the last one is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I apologize. I've had a couple videos like that in this game. Um, I've talked to a couple of my friends because coming back to this game, I forgot how slow the beginning of Emerald kind of was. Um, it, it's because sometimes getting to some of the different places takes a little bit longer, a little bit longer of a trek. And there's more trainer battles, wild, wild trainers, etc. Um, it just all adds on and, and it all plays a part. But I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, once we get that fourth or fifth gym, Gym badge, we're gonna fly through the second half of this game. I promise you guys. Um, really, once you make it to Fortree, it, the game is kind of a breeze. A pretty easy trek to Lilico from there. Probably can be done in one episode. Um, the Team Aqua hideout could be its own episode, and the Team Magma hideout could definitely be its own episode. Uh, that'll be obviously be later when we get to Lilicove City. Of course, Lilicove. Um, fun fact, guys, as Skitty woke up there very early, Lilicove is actually. Believe it or not, guys, my favorite city in Pokemon history. And that's over Jubilife City. That's over Goldenrod City. Um, Goldenrod, of course, being from Gen 2 and the Gen 4 remakes. I mean, that is my favorite gener like generation of Pokemon. And I'm not even choosing that. Lilikov just is just the coolest, most like relaxing city. Like, if I wanted to live anywhere in the Pokemon world, 
I would want to live there. But guys, we're on a huge tangent here. Let's get back to what is at hand here. We got a double battle coming up here. All right. Uh, my Pokemon have... Well, we got one guy who's evolved a ton. Dust Tox. Then we got our Minon who doesn't evolve at all. So yeah, we've evolved some of our Pokemon here so far. They're going to toss out a Lumbre and a Geodude. And we're going to go... We're going to try to just try to do that. I just want to kill this Lumbre as quickly as possible. Although on second thought, I probably should have... That's huge. Okay, so now we can't get hit by rock type moves, which would be super effective to Dustox due to his bug typing guys. Lumbre is going to growl both of us, but that should not be enough to hurt us that bad. I think uh, one hit of tackle here should kill Lumbre. Should still do it with the stab. We're going to side beam on a Geodude just because it's just effective due to his rock typing. Normal is not going to do much. That's huge right there. Should be KO. Critical hit. Probably would have been KO even without it. Um, Skitty 135, Dust Tox 135, Minon 271. It's really important for Minon to continue to level up. Um, Minon's actually not bad special attack and speed wise though. So w when Minon becomes leveled up, it's actually going to be like a half decent Pokemon. Even though the rest of its stats suck, um, that's why its base stat total is kind of pretty bad. Um, so Minon actually isn't the worst, guys. Like, there, there's definitely way worse Pokemon. I was thinking that that would... Okay, thank goodness. Another critical hit by Skitty. The scary kitty making up for all those times that he missed, guys, with the double slap. Coming in clutch there. All right, a Nummel, guys. How about the hiker having a Nummel, a, a fire type? See, that's going to hurt a little bit. Now, the good news is the first time rollout hits, it doesn't do that much. So we got to really... We got to make sure we knock this thing out here. Right. I'm only doing that because that probably knows a fire type move too, which is super effective. And uh, maybe I should have gone with the tackle there. So this is gonna hurt a little bit more than the other one. Not as bad though. Rollout takes especially probably three or four turns to really, really kick in. Um, we're just gonna go for a tackle on the Merrill. Honestly, I should have done that last time. This now with the double growl against us, it might not even be a one hit for the well, a two hit really, two hit versus the three hit. Excuse me, but at least numbers down. So that's one less thing to worry about there for Dust Tox. Who knows? This tackle... Okay. That makes sense. So third rollout. This one will hurt a little bit. Wow. It's Dust Tox. My goodness. Dust Tox is way better than we ever thought it would be. It's insane, guys. Really proven to actually be the beefy animal that it's advertised up to be. I mean, I mean guys, I mean... I'm talking all hours of the night. I got these butchers. They're still calling me. I mean, they're asking for this dust tox meat. I mean, it's it's kind of getting old, guys. It's and you know the more the more it does this in videos. I mean, I don't think they're gonna end anytime soon. So, I mean, my goodness, guys. All right, so we got another hiker here. This seems to be the hiker hideout, right? You got the team aqua, the team magma hideout in this game. This is probably the hiker hideout. Um, Tim, I thought it was pretty funny that you uh, commented, by the way, in the last video. <laughs> the hiker having the cramp. Yeah, he's like LeBron in the finals out there, cramping with the Charlie horse. My goodness. Oh, man, this game. Some of this stuff in this game is hilarious, guys. It's just... <sighs> this is just why Pokemon... And just for all ages, too, right? Because these games are just so perfect, right? When you think about a video game... What you want in a video game is a game you can continue to play anytime, right? I mean, this is like probably the thousandth time I've gone through this game. You want replayability. It's a huge thing for games. But also when you play a video game, you, you want to be able to do what you want to do, right? You don't want to be like confined to all these rules. Like Pokemon has so many different ways. You can go out there, try to collect them all, just beat the playthrough, try to be competitive online. Like you can't not have fun in the Pokemon game. And, and I think that's why these games have been so successful for so long. And it's just like, when I think of video game, I think of an escape from the world, right? And, and I don't want to have to confine to any rules. I want to be able to do what I want to do. And that's something that Pokemon has been really successful at throughout the last 20 years. And there's a reason why it's survived. And anytime, anytime Nintendo switches um, to a new console, haha, <laughs> play on words there, switch into the Switch, right? Um, there, I mean, there's a reason why Pokemon leads Nintendo sales, right, guys? That's over Mario that's lasted for like 35 or 40 years. There is a reason for it. 
it, it's just the best. There, there's no arguing here, as we are having a f our first ever encounter, guys, with Team Magma in the playthrough. Hold it right there, he says. I say nay nay, Jose, and it's Archie again. Oh my gosh, guys, the music with these teams. It's so good in this game. They did such a great job. Oh, I'm the guy from Slayport. That's right, dude. I'm going to kick your butt when we first battle you, man. All right. Wait, yes, we must. We must go. We must go. Okay, get out of here, Archie. And there he is, Professor Cosmo. They tricked him, guys. Unbelievable. So we got ourselves a moonstone up here. You know what, guys? I was saying we have to go in the goals back to Rossboro. I don't even think we have to do that. I think we can just head right back to uh, Fall Arbor Town. You know what? I'll probably head back. Yeah, no, I'll just head back to Fall Arbor Town. I, I think that's... I think we could definitely... Yeah, I think maybe I'll battle a couple. I think there was a double battle that I skipped up here. Maybe I'll just do that just for a little bit more experience since we're here, and then just head back to Fall Arbor Town, heal up, guys, and probably just park it. And then right, great segue into the next episode. We'll we'll be heading right back down to Mount Chimney, guys, through the fiery path again. And so Viper, how about this? Of course, so Viper and Zangus, the coveted rivals in the wild in this game. They were really cool Pokemon, honestly. Um, I thought it was really cool how they implemented that. Um, one being version exclusive in Ruby, one being version exclusive in, in uh, Sapphire. Of course, in this game, you can catch both of them, which was really cool. I liked how they did that in Emerald. Emerald's kind of the penultimate game, in a sense. Um, gotta love gotta love Pokemon. They, they, they always did such a great job at that. Like, um, It just adds to the allure when you go back to these games. Like... Even just looking at these, like, Gen 3 sprites, Gen 3 engine, and everything, like, I mean, just sitting here, like, this is what I think of when I think Pokemon. And guys, I have played through Generation 8, I have a Switch, and when I think Pokemon, this is what I think. I think of sitting here in front of a pixelated game, looking overhead of my guy, and just walking around the map. I mean, it's just a cla it's just so classic, and they... And there's a reason why people still on Twitch play these games. I mean, I'm I'm looking up Pokemon Crystal Twitch streams last night, and there's 700 pe there's 700 people watching it. Guys, that game came out in 2000. It's 20 years old. It's insane. Like, Pokemon will survive so long, so much longer than people think, and and it's a shame people make fun of the game, because I feel like a lot of people in this world have to kind of play this game in secret when there is only someone like me. I mean, I've never been like that. I've always expressed, hey. It's a great game, and I'm going to play something that makes me happy. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's what is important in life, guys. You don't want to be a yes man in life. You don't want to conform to what everybody else says. You want to live your life, and whatever makes you happy, and whatever whatever you want to do, that's important, okay? Don't ever let anybody else tell you anything like that. Um, a little bit of a life, life advice tangent there, but that's really important, guys, especially when we have life how it is right now. Um, it's very polarizing if you turn on the news every day. There's not a lot of positivity in the world. And and you know what? Any any little bit of it you can gain, my goodness, you take it and run with it, guys. It, that That is a really important thing. If there's one thing you could take away from my Let's Place, guys, it is that. Um, I'm having a blast doing this, and I'm hoping you guys are having a blast watching it. I'm hoping you guys are going back to these old classic games and playing them. You guys see my Mario Kart going on that I've been doing on Twitch and p porting over to YouTube. I mean, these games are so fun, and and they're so old, but there's a reason I'm still, as a 23-year-old, that I'm going back and playing them, guys. I mean, they're just, they're, they're fun, and that, that that's that's the reality of it. You can make fun of them all you want, but you can't let people do that. You, you gotta do what you like in this world. It's We live in a free country in America. I mean, hey, America the free, home of the brave. I mean, come on, guys. All right, but back to battling here. We take down... The Roselia, we make the Graveler flinch. This this should KO it right here. Not the side beam, but both of our attacks, I think, combined. Ah, maybe not. Maybe I should use Nightshade just to be safe. And this might not do it. Kind of regretting not using Nightshade now. Oh, and we got it, thank goodness. Alright, Sabli 142, Dust Tox 142, mine on to level 29 with 286. Let's go, guys. That is huge, guys. Really solid. You know, really quick, quicker episode this time. And and guys. 
we've we've accomplished a lot, right? I mean, like, you know, we got our guys leveled up now. All right, let's just head up here and uh, head in here and get healed up. And then I'll park it outside. We'll go over our goals. We did everything we needed. I just wanted to wanted to explain how I was wrong. I, I you guys will see it in a second when I bring up the map here. Um, so while looking at the Pokenav in the beginning, I thought the goals head through Meteor Falls, come back down here. Turns out didn't need to do that. You actually could just come out back here. We're back in Fall Arbor Town, guys. Next time, we'll just segue in. We'll head over to Mount Chimney, guys, which is about right around here. Um, we'll be coming out of the Fiery Path, and we will head our head our way up to Lava Ridge Town, but we will have to face Team Aqua and Team Magma, who will be in our way. Um, it has been a blast playing this game from the past, guys. Ton of fun. Definitely going to bring more. Just keep watching, guys. Um, I apologize again over the weekend. Went up to school to get my stuff. Um, just wasn't able to post, guys, but I promise I'll be trying to keep up as best as I can. I got some school projects going on. I worked on one for three hours before filming this, but hopefully I can get this out tonight by 6 o'clock p.m. Um, and hey, guys, you know, stay safe out there. Keep having fun, guys. It's all we can do in this negative situation. Till next time, guys. So long.